Welcome, CCIE or die.com. I'm Artek, and today's video is going to concentrate on OSPF authentication. We're going to follow the task list a little more closely. One of the first steps we want to do is verify connectivity between the routers, so let's do that now. From R2, we'll ping 192.168.12.1, and now we'll ping 192.168.23.3. And that's good to go. Now we're going to configure OSPF, config T, router, OSPF1, network, 0 .0 .0 .0, 0.0.0.0, area 0, router 2, config T, router, OSPF1, network, 0.0.0. .0 .0. Sorry, we're going to do 192.168.12.0.0.0.255, area 0, network 192.168.23.0.0.0.0.255, area 1, network 2.2.2.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
IP OSPF authentication key CCIE. We'll go back to R1. We'll do show IP OSPF interface. And it should be coming up. And there's our adjacency. And it says simple password authentication enabled. Great. We'll do MD5 between R2 and R3. Interface F1 slash 0 IP OSPF authentic mess for message digest. IP OSPF message digest. Let's finish it with command completion. Key 1 MD5 CCIE. Do the same thing on R3, three, and we're going to lose our interface, our adjacency F1 slash 0 and IP OSPF authentic mess. IP OSPF message digest key 1 for MD5 CCIE. And the adjacency should come back up. And let's do an end here and we'll debug IP OSPF packet. And it's on. In the meantime, we'll show IP OSPF interface. You can see when our packets are coming up that our authentication type now is 2 and it's using key ID 1. And we can further verify that with show IP OSPF interface. And down at the bottom of the output, it's going to tell us message digest authentication enabled. The youngest key ID is one. Let's you all to get rid of the debugs. And we can also debug it with IP OSPF adjacency. Oops, debug, need to spell it correctly. IP OSPF edge. Um, that's another way of verifying it. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, uh, there it is. It's telling us it's sent with the youngest uh, key I ID, key one. So that's going to wrap it up uh, for today. You can also uh, do, let's on all, you all, you can also do area type uh authentication from within the router process i'll let you you take care of that and there is one other point that comes with the uh let's see with the um the blueprint and that is cryptographic algorithm uh name that's setting up ospf for use with sha and that's done using uh, uh a keychain and a key id and a key string similarly to eigrp uh, you're going to need at least iOS 15.4 or better to do that. So I can't do that here. That's something you'll you'll just have to memorize. So thanks for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.